Hello and welcome to Solution Cone. In this video, we will be designing our dashboard forms and we will try to move ahead in this course. So here, let me log in using the wrong credentials. So this is giving us an error say, stating that it is an invalid credentials and if I try to access with the right credentials, it is taking us to the dashboard. So our session is working perfectly fine. So there is no issue in the session. So here is our dashboard. First of all, let's uh, make it functional using uh, like the options and we don't require any sort of maps or the graphs and we have to make it functional like uh, the sign out so first of all i'll tell you how we should work whenever we have some certain backend themes so this is the dashboard so here if you notice we have certain things common so we would first of all segregate our form into headers and footers so till this thing till the nav section everything is inside the header so here basically we will dollar this load view and the view name is inside the admin panel we will create a header h e a d e r dot p h p so this is the header after that we have our main content whatever it is the main is ending here after that the last part is the footer so for this we will again write dollar this load view and in this view we will write admin panel slash footer dot php so here we will make a footer.php and we'll paste the other code let's try to reload this nothing should have been changed everything is working absolutely fine but we have uh, removed the common part from the page so that uh, if in case we have lots of pages in this backend so it is easy for us to make changes in one file and it will reflect in all of the files so it's better to always keep a habit of changing the uh, changing uh, or the <coughs> making some common files which are repeating now here first of all the title we don't require the title as this we require it has a common admin panel maybe okay so first of all let's uh, remove all of these options and we'll sign out link firstly we will just we have already developed the sign out functionality so we will just write the code of this login slash log out and a constant okay so if you hover on this 
it is now functional if i click on this it will redirect us to login that means we have implemented the logout functionality on the dashboard look at this okay so this is done now we need a form in order to post the block so instead of uh, showing all of this option we will remove all the option and we'll just skip one or two options first of all let's get rid of this ul okay so here we will do one thing this is the dashboard so once i click on dashboard it should redirect us to the dashboard page so this is going to be our base url admin slash dashboard that's it secondly we require add block then view block section apart from that I don't require anything else for now so here if I reload the page okay so here we have add blog and view blog page so let us first develop the add block page so here inside the view we will have a, another page known as add blog dot php and just like the dashboard we'll just copy everything and paste it here inside the add block I will just remove the table for now as well as this table now let me first make a controller for adding a blog so let's call it as a blog dot php we will copy the code from the welcome controller to this blog blog and here we will keep it as it is we will first make add blog method This is going to admin panel slash add block dot php the view what we have made right now. Another view we will require is for the view block. So this is going to be view log dot php. So here we will load the view block. And there is no need to specify this otherwise it is going to give you error so we have made a controller and by default index method will load so in the index method we will show the view and when we want to click on the add block button add block link here we will open this URL so here is the add block block slash add block okay. so here let's have a simple form set up action is going to be base URL dot I 
partner slash blog slash add blog underscore post this method we will make it right now and method is going to be post method so inside the blog we will have a post function here let's print dollar underscore post values in order to check whether everything is working properly or not so the form is ready for us okay now here we have following fields so let me go to so in order to the class form input type text name is block title Holder, we can set it. Title. Similarly, for the other fields, we will set the data. this is done so accordingly the form will be implemented so here we have the title the description description is again going to be the text area blog image or the blog image we will have in the type as file this is going to be file this is uh, for the so here instead of giving it as an input field and a button so this is working fine so we have successfully set up the title description and the file button in order to load the file let me link it here properly So add block we will link it here admin slash blog slash add block 
and for the view block we have already set it as an index method so here we can directly call this so when we click on add block so here is the add block when we click on view block so here is the view block page which is already set up in the next video we will uh, be working with the post of this and we will store the data inside the database here and then we will load that in the view part and we'll implement the edit and delete so that will complete the backend thank you for watching guys hope you like subscribe and comment below if you have any sort of doubts thank you